we look at 26 to 39, we see the story of the demoniac of the Gerasenes. This is a guy who had many, many demons. You know the story. Jesus delivers him and he comes to his senses. And then the demons go into a herd of pigs. The pigs rush down to the lake and they drown. And in verse 34, we see that when the herdsmen saw what had happened, they fled and told it in the city and in the country. Then in verse 37, we see that all the people of the surrounding country asked Jesus to depart from them, for they were seized with great fear. This story is really an amazing display of God's power and compassion. This man who had been bound for so many years is finally free. But it's interesting that the herdsmen are the ones who spread the news throughout the region. And consequently, the people of the region asked Jesus to leave them. What did they hear? What was the testimony of the herdsmen? Now, from their perspective, they probably heard about the loss of the herd of pigs. That was the most important piece to them. I don't know if they saw the man being delivered or not. Maybe they just didn't see it. Maybe they just saw a piece of the puzzle. Maybe they didn't, they didn't see the whole story. They were focused on their business. And so they couldn't see, they couldn't appreciate, they couldn't celebrate the massive deliverance that they had just witnessed. Again, it's possible that they hadn't seen Jesus deliver the man. All they knew is that Jesus showed up and the pigs went crazy. <laughs> but whatever it might be, the important thing here for me is about how many times I assess a situation based on what's at stake for me rather than the compassion of God. Sometimes I assess a situation based on a little piece of the puzzle that I see and I fail to ask God to show me the bigger picture. Maybe there's something that I feel that is affecting me, but if I could take time to ask the Lord to show me what he is doing in the process, it might change my perspective to assess the situation differently, to see something different, to see a different outcome of the situation. I want to be moved with more compassion, to be able to see what God is doing and celebrate it and join him in it, instead of being so focused on what's in it for me that I miss out on celebrating what God is doing. So let's pray. Father, forgive me for so many times looking at situations just through my own lens, through my own selfish perspective. I want to be more aware of what you're doing. I want to be more aware of your plan. I want to be more aware of your actions around me. And I want to be part of that. I want to be part of that by celebrating it. I want to be part of that by not hindering it. And I certainly want to be part of that by doing it with you. So Father, would you teach me? Would you change my heart? Would you open my eyes to see what you are doing in each situation that I would be able to yield to you, celebrate with you, and have part in the harvest of your work in my life and in those around me. In Jesus' name, amen.